This is your real big Wednesday afternoon lineup. Joining myself and Wayne Carey and here, Jason Dunstall wanders into the studio. Hello, Jason. Hello, Mark. Hello, Wayne. <laughs> here you go, Warrior. I got. I got to be. I got to be brutally honest yep. just before you get to Warrior. This, <laughs> yep. this has got a real Magoo's feel about it. <laughs> really? This, you know when you used to go out early in the winter, you'd be kicking the dew off the grass because it's cold and wet mm. and it's really dark outside. Mm. This whole setup you know just what? feels like a Magoo's for a, setup. For a smart guy, you, you said that last week. Mm. Come up with some new material, no, champ. Yeah. I'm just reinforcing it. Can I tell you? Can you believe? You shouldn't be talking can about believe, material given what was can, just read out yeah, can because you believe, that cafe is the closest you've ever been this, to a university. Listen, uh, Duck, before before we get into too much literature, uh, Damien Barrett is here. Hello, Damo. Howie and Duck. I'm not as critical as uh, you two I, guys. In fact, thanks. I've liked the uh, the week and a half you guys. Oh, did you hear done. a bit of Ricky Ponting on yesterday in the studio? I did. You? did. Yeah. Nice sort of came in the studio for the photo. Yeah, you good. tweeted out about it. Yeah, we're going okay here. Just the big names. Come on, Howie. I'm very curious. I think you are an outstanding performer, and you're off to do the Commonwealth Games. I mean that legitimately. Good luck. I hope it goes well. Thank you. How have you coped with Duck's preparation for these uh, two weeks? Because well, you, having you. an experience of working with the Duck, Jesus, pre- preparation's Jesus. not his strong suit. Well, can hey, I Jace, say? Jace, you know what? I'm sick of you saying that. I'm talking Piggy. to Howie. Man. No, listen I'm to me. To because the, the Howie, last time I worked with, with you was about <laughs> 10 years ago, and I couldn't have given a stuff. <laughs> Duck does no preparation. Correct. But that is twice as much as the man that came in on Monday, Campbell Brown. So that's sort of what he's coming up against. Yeah. Duck, you've got something to read there. I have. Now, Piggy, now we let this go to print. Big Jimmy and Rue boy, a guide to life. <laughs> Can we believe it? Life, How they get us wearing beanies <laughs> is the big issue. Beanies and scarves and our and our track suits, uh, our club track suits. But I just want to read you one little bit here. A guide to life after footy this is. Okay, <laughs> chapter nine. This is you, Piggy. But there is one thing I'm determined not to do. Yep. Blow up like a blimp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a certain former footballer who used to wear number 23 for Hawthorne and play at Centre Ford who reckons I'm going to end up like the side of a house. Yep. But that won't happen. Hasn't I happened. plan to be a pretty diligent yeah. with my lifestyle yep. and make sure I get to the gym enough to make That's sure it. I don't blow up at all. I'm what just the a, hell I'm, happened? I'm not the side of the house, man. I'm a small cabin at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> just tracking nicely. But I'll tell you what, still got a lot of those other blokes for, covered. Yeah, for, anyone that, for anyone that followed this book or had a look at it at all, I reckon their life's pretty much much turned upside down. Yeah. I actually reckon Jimmy might have read it too many times. <laughs> did you appreciate... It's, 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 it's a reverse guide to life. It's did actually you, what not to do. Did you appreciate Duck's night out where he likes a nice bowl of pasta, maybe the Titanic, and if he's going really wild, a trip to the bowling alley, Chief? I will say this, on a good night out for the Duck, he did bowl a few over. <laughs> <laughs> no problems there. Footy demo. Uh... <laughs> no, well, I'm done, be better, uh, No, you'll be sticking around, and you're delivering you the, the joke. joke. See, here you go. No, you're you are delivering the joke today. You are here, Jason. I guarantee hey, you, you I won't Get a joke out of me. What about what about come up with some new material? You said the same thing last week. I'm out of here. Let's go. Me, okay. I can turn my <laughs> attention. I can anywhere. turn my attention to you if you'd like. I sense you're just drifting off a bit here, Chief. I just sense you're starting to lose a bit of interest as no, you look at the just, clock. Just clock watching. That's all right. Adelaide so Friday working. night, Triple M football. You and Damo are heading over. How are we getting to Adelaide? Well, you normally fly over. Right. <laughs> Yeah, you're coming back to that set night? off a touch earlier, aren't we? Well, I heard you weren't going, Chief. That last I heard you well, were going to cover this Friday night in the game, but I do see the roster, and you are going now. Oh, any any right. reason you're going? Because it's my responsibility to go. I oh. always <laughs> fulfil my responsibilities, Warrior, unlike others that just peel off for a week every now and then when they feel like it. Jim? <laughs> Correct. Uh, very nice of you boys to come in. Would All you right. like to do the hey, joke boys. now, Chief, or do would jokes. you like to wait? Or shall I just roll it straight out now here? I like an audience. You're staying for the joke, I think you give it a spell, and we yeah. go to the ad breaks, and I ship off. Give what do you think, uh, Higgy? Uh, I think it's time for the joke. Uh, well, you could do the joke now. If you, I know Jason's been looking forward to it. I always enjoy delivering a joke when Chief's here. All right. Make me laugh, Howie. This will be really good, I think. <laughs> Why wouldn't the shrimp share his treasure? Why wouldn't the <laughs> shrimp share his treasure? Oh, wow. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for the punchline. <laughs> because, Chief, he was a little bit shellfish. <laughs> Damo's got the grins over there. Shellfish cheese. Yeah, well, I'm not sure you should do it for on Thursday and Friday. That was good. <laughs> what do you think, Nick? What do you think? It's not great. It's not Christmas he, he tries, cracker, isn't it? He tries to cover up the poor quality of the joke by laughing as he delivers <laughs> the punchline. And it ain't working, how Shellfish the shrimp. You need to have a spell. It got a little that bit of a build, brutal. like a little pr- uh, <laughs> a little prawn. He, he can play a song or something. <laughs> so, I think we're done here. Hey, we're coming in, I think we're definitely done. <laughs>